Hi, I'm Katie from Study Hard, Travel Smart, and I am in Pardubice, Czech Republic today. Pardubice is the center city of the region of Pardubice, which is one of many regions in the Czech Republic, in the area of eastern Bohemia. Because this place is not very well visited by tourists, especially foreign tourists, it's quite an empty place to visit, but that doesn't mean there's nothing to see here. There's loads to see and do in Pardubice. Actually, historically, the city has known to have a slogan called Shine Like Pardubice, and that's because the city actually just shines in the sunlight. The colors of the buildings are so stunning, the architecture is stunning, and there's a ton to see and do in the region. The city of Pardubice was founded in the 13th century, so it's very historic, and you can really see the layers of history stacking one on top of the other. It's really an incredible thing to see. Within the city center, there's a beautiful chateau with gorgeous architecture. You can explore the outside of it for free, or you can wander inside to the exhibitions as well. And just outside of Pardubice, there are some castles. There's the National Stud Farm. The National Stud Farm was formerly owned by the emperor of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and now it's still a place where kings and monarchies throughout Europe get their perfectly white horses for ceremonial purposes. It's a really beautiful place. There's so much in the region, so I'm really excited to show you all of the other things there are to see and do here in Pardubice. Just outside of Pardubice, there are loads of other really amazing places to explore. The first is Sech. The Sech Dam is located just north in the Iron Mountains in East Bohemia, and it's a really beautiful area. In the summertime, you can go camping there, you can rent some paddle boats, go paddle boarding, and just overlooking the Sech Dam is a castle, the Oheb Castle. It's actually a castle ruin, but it's a really stunning spot in the area. It's a really beautiful overlook over the dam, and the ruins of the castle are really lovely. It's such a nice little hike in the area. Also in East Bohemia, there is Veseli Kopets. This is one of my favorite places here in East Bohemia. It's a cute little village which shows how village life would have been like from the 18th century even until the 1950s. This is an open air folk museum, but four of the houses in this village museum were originally there. The rest were moved from other parts of the region, but it gives you a really amazing indication of how people would have lived uh, in villages in central Czech Republic in, in East Bohemia. It's a really beautiful place it's really lovely and in the winter they do different festivals when the museum is typically closed sometimes they have Christmas markets but they're very well known for their Masopust festival Masopust in Czech Republic is the start of the Lent season and this is a really interesting festival that's specific to this region and they always hold a big Masopust festival in Veseli Kopets that's very much worth checking out if you're in the region in the winter it's celebrated as one of the best examples of Masopust in the country the other major city in East Bohemia that you'll want to check out when you're in the region is Little Michel. Little Michel is the home of the famous Czech composer Smetana and you can go there and see the birthplace which was actually the brewer's house in the chateau in the castle in Little Michel. But you can also explore the castle of Little Michel. There's a really beautiful church just outside the castle gates and the entire castle hill is on the UNESCO list. It's a really stunning area. The architecture of the Little Michel chateau is really unique because it's one of the only castles north of the Alps that has a three-sided portico outside, which isn't very typical because it's almost impossible to actually use in the winter, but in the summertime when you go to visit it's just really stunning. The interiors of the castle are well worth visiting too as they're really well decorated and prepared to show you what life living in the chateau would have been like. The town of Little Michel is so underrated in the Czech Republic. It's such a beautiful place, similar to Pardubice, how the city just glows because the architecture is so stunning. There's music festivals in the summer, which are really amazing to visit, but throughout the year, it's a great spot to see in central Czech Republic. So thank you for joining me on my trip to Pardubice in the Czech Republic. I really hope that you've enjoyed exploring this incredible region with me, and I hope that you decide to check it out for yourself when you're in Prague or anywhere nearby. If you liked this video, remember to subscribe to me on Facebook, check out my Instagram, my blog at Study Hard Travel Smart. But for now, thank you for watching.